In the space of 24 hours, officials coordinating activities for the control of the desert locusts cited in 17 districts in eastern and northern Uganda have issued contradictory statements about the strategies in place. The use of an aircraft was a part of the broader strategy agreed on by the task force made up of a number of ministries coordinating activities geared at thwarting the further movement of the desert locusts. Yesterday, the State Minister for Animal Industry, Bright Ramirama, indicated that the negotiations for an aircraft with the Desert Locust Control Organization of Eastern Africa had finally yielded fruit. It was cleared yesterday and uh, is going to be stationed in Moroto. The aircraft was a no-show in Moroto. The Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, Vincent Sempija, now says it was a deliberate decision to stop the delivery. We are ready with the planes. One plane which was expected to land yesterday has gone for service in Nairobi. It is coming back today or tomorrow. The other plane is already hired, waiting for chemicals. Once the chemicals are here, even today, if the chemicals were here, that plane is ready. Also on Tuesday, the State Minister for Relief and Disaster Preparedness, Mose Chweru, who is based in eastern Uganda, indicated the failure for the delivery of the aircraft was due to a busy schedule in Kenya. Uh, unfortunately, again, I got the communication this morning from Nairobi that uh, it, had, it was delayed again yesterday in Wajir and, and, and therefore it might arrive uh, maybe the day after tomorrow or thereabout. The contradictions do not stop at this. The good news is that uh, we, are, we have procured the, the chemical and uh, it will be in, in the country in three days. And according to Sempija, they gave us 15 days. Today they sent me information that uh, they are likely even to shorten the period of uh, delivery. If they do that, then we will receive the chemicals, maybe in five days or six days. Sempeja talks of three planes being available whenever needed. One of these will come in from Kajansi. It should be noted that the officials have talked about getting more than one aircraft from different companies, including from Kibimba Rice Kim, which plan appears to have collapsed. The Chibimba aircraft is for their own, that they use on a farm, and because they didn't have a lot of activities, the pilot for the Chibimba aircraft was called now to support the desert locust control spraying exercise and the FAO in Kenya. From about three weeks ago, the experts emphasized the need of the aircraft as crucial in flashing out the invasion of the desert locusts before they could start another round of breeding. The country is running behind schedule as the eggs have started hatching. Meanwhile, insects with the semblance of the desert locusts are said to be causing destruction to food crops in the villages of Nanyonyi and Butande sub-county in Busia district. As a district, we had always planned ahead. We normally have some reserves of chemicals. We had planned to have some chemicals for controlling for lamewam. We can afford it, it has not happened. But this very chemical can also work on what? On these grasshoppers. The wingless insects were first seen three days ago. 